yo what is up everybody i'm coming at you with a super quick video i've been getting a lot of questions on how you can get over to chronos mainnet and start making those gains on vvs finance chronos swap all those awesome farms and projects that are coming up on that main net. So I'm going to show you exactly how I did it and walk you step by step so that you can start making those gains. So first thing you need to do is you need to come to Elk Finance. That's what I did. It seemed to be the fastest, quickest way to get my money over from Binance Smart Chain over to Chrono so I could start farming. So as you can see here, it tells me I'm on Binance. You're going to have to have a MetaMask wallet set up. So please that's the way I did it. Just if you want to make a MetaMask, definitely click on the link. That's going to be your easiest way that I did it. So that's the tutorial and we're going to use MetaMask. So I have my MetaMask already connected. As you can see, I have a little bit of BNB that I am going to bridge over to the Kronos mainnet. It tells you I'm connected on the Binance smart chain currently with my MetaMask. So all you need to do, it's super simple. All you have to do is you're going to come here. I have BNB, which is what I'm going to use, but you have all the different chains that you can use. I believe you can use AVAX, Ethereum, all those. So definitely check this out. This is the easiest way. I'm going to do 0.1. That's going to give me 20 elk. So definitely be careful if you're going to be bridging over a large amount. Make sure that you're taking a look at that price impact. You want to make sure that you're not getting into the twos, the threes, the fours, because you're going to be losing a quite, a, quite a bit of money with the bridge that you're doing. So definitely just keep an eye on that if you're going to be bridging over a lot of money. So as you see right here, 0.1 BNB, going to turn that into Elk. Just going to make a quick swap on that. And I'm going to let this go through. MetaMask is going to ask you to confirm that. Give it a few seconds to load up. Yep. I want to send that money over to that Kronos mainnet. And I want to start making that money. So we're going to let that go through. And it's going to swap your BNB straight to elk so elk is going to be the token that you're going to use to bridge it because elk is on multiple chains and then once you have elk you're going to be able to bridge over to whichever chain that you want to so not only do you have you're able to do this to chronos but if you want to swap from bnb to avax or avax to bnb or ethereum to wherever you want to swap elk has been the easiest one for me to use and i would definitely recommend it just because the fees are also low so we're going to let this load up real fast. All right. And now that we've confirmed that transaction, in our MetaMask, we now have that elk balance from the 0.1 BNB. So next step is we're going to go here to the elk net, which is going to be the actual function that's going to allow you to bridge over the assets to the chain that you want to. So make sure that you read through these, make sure that you meet all these requirements. You're going to go in here, hit max or whatever balance that you do want to transfer over select your target chain. In this case, it's going to be Kronos, but look at all the different options that you have. Definitely check this out if you do see one on the list that you want to bridge over to. Kronos, hit this. So what this does is it's going to exchange one of the elk that you have in your balance for gas fees or for the token to pay for gas fees on the chain that you're sending it over to. So in this example, it would actually swap one of my elk for Kronos token so that I'm able to actually do transactions on that new blockchain. The last thing you wanna do is send over a lot of money and then not be able to even do anything with it. That's the last thing you wanna to have to do. You hit transfer, it's gonna open up your MetaMask wallet and it's gonna ask you to confirm the transaction. From here, you're gonna hit confirm again and then it's going to take you back to the elk site and it's going to show you the transaction at the bottom so as you can see i have bridged over some things here it tells you your latest your latest transfers here latest incoming transfers as well but this right here is going to tell you exactly what is happening with your money and where it's at all right once that transaction has went through and metamask has it confirmed it for you now you need to go to your metamask wallet and swap from the chain that you were sending the asset from to the chain that you are wanting those assets to be on so in this case i went from bnb to chronos so i'm going to swap from binance smart chain to my chronos wallet so as soon as we swap that over what's going to happen is we should now have that elk balance in our Kronos wallet. So as you can see here, now we're on Kronos. We have the 17 elk after they've taken that fee out. And now at this point, you're going to go to your swap. 
and you're just going to use your elk token to swap over to the crow token and then it's just like a normal swap you're going to do your max or how much ever you want to swap over and then now you see you would do the swap and then you're going to now get your crow tokens in this case so you're going to have to confirm that in your wallet as well just to make sure that is what you want and just another side note guys make sure that you do give it some time to bridge over go fix yourself a sandwich you know go walk the dog it's going to take a couple minutes to not freak out but your money is going to bridge over and now you're going to be able to access your crow tokens so in this case now that we have our crow we should be able to go over to any kind of farm or any kind of project that we want to so let's go over to VVS Finance in this case and let's see exactly how we can start utilizing our Crow tokens to start making some real gains here, right? All right, so now we're at VVS Finance. We have Crow in our wallet. We are good to go. Come here to this Earn tab. That's where you're going to earn that money. So you have Farms and you have Mines. So Farms, you're going to provide any kind of liquidity pair so you're either going to do crow eth crow bitcoin crow udsc in my case i'm doing crow vvs so all you would need to do is if you want to do liquidity pairs and farm you need to make sure that you come here to trade and that you have both assets that you're wanting to add liquidity for so you would come here to the liquidity tab add liquidity select the token pair that you want to create so I am going to do Crow and I am going to do VVS. So at this point, you would just put exactly how much of that that you are going to want. And I'm going to do this right here. This is just a small example to walk you through it. But now we're going to do 335 VVS and we're going to have 0.05 Crow. So you're going to hit supply, confirm supply. And the first time that you do this, you're going to have to approve these transactions to make sure that you can do it. But as soon as you do that, that you only have to do that once. And then going forward, you just have to actually approve the contract interaction. You're going to hit confirm here. And what that's going to do is it's going to create the liquidity pair for you to allow you to now farm. So now we have a liquidity pair that is BVS and Crow. So from here, you're going to go to your earn your farms and now we can add as you can see I already have this here but you will be able to add additional your additional LP so that's going to show here as soon as that transaction confirms and you're going to be able to stake that here all right as soon as that co that confirmation is given to you that you're able to deposit those tokens all you need to do here is go to max and you'll be able to deposit that so then you'll confirm your transaction and then you're going to be good to go. It's going to start allowing you to provide liquidity to the project. And then you'll start seeing the harvest from that liquidity pair that you provided. If you want to stake, you can also single stake. So if you just want to buy VVS and deposit that, then all you would need to do is make sure that you have VVS. In this case, you would go from Crow, which you had bridged over. And then you're going to swap to VVS. So if I wanted to use 50 crow to swap that over to VVS, and we'll do a small example. So we'll do two. That's going to give 10 crow is going to give me 61,000 VVS. So in my wallet, I'm going to come here. I'm going to confirm that amount. And what that is going to do is now I've swapped from crow over to VVS. And now I'm able to single stake that. So I'm going to confirm that transaction in my MetaMask wallet as I've done with all my other ones. And now I'm going to come back to this earn tab, hit mines. And now I'm able to, I haven't confirmed it, but I can come in here. I'm going to enable this and it's going to allow me to now single stake my VVS tokens. I do not have to worry about impermanent loss or anything at this point because it is not a liquidity pair. It's just a single staking asset pool. So now after I confirm that transaction, I'm going to be able to come in here and then I'm going to be able to single stake the VVS tokens that I have now swapped over from Crow. So as soon as this is approved in your wallet, you'll be able to come in here. Stake pops up, stake, 
And then that is where that balance is going to show up of what you just swapped over from Crow. You hit max, confirm, and then now you're going to be single staking your VVS tokens that you had swapped over from Crow initially. I have shown you now how you are able to bridge over from multiple blockchains. So you're able to come from AVAX Finance, Ethereum over to the Kronos mainnet. And I've shown you how you can get started farming in VVS Finance. So you can either farm, which is going to be a liquidity pair, or you can do a mine, which is going to be a single staking pair. So make sure that you guys do that. If there's any questions, feel free to leave it in the comment section below. This is going to be the easiest way to bridge over any assets from any other blockchain to get over to Kronos. And then this is how you can get started making those gains on VVS Finance. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe, hit the notification button. We're all about to blow up. We're all about to make this money on the Kronos mainnet. I can't wait. There's so much, so much more stuff coming for us. So make sure that you follow me on Twitter. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. Hit the notification button because you want to know as soon as I drop videos. There's been some moonshots. There's been some real gems. And now I'm even doing tutorial videos and showing you how you get that money over to Kronos and start making that real real move.